Hello, welcome to video three of the Red Cap Basics video series. My name is Ray. I'll be taking over from where Michael left off in video two. And this video is going to cover downloading and uploading instrument zip files and using the CAMH data dictionary. Uh, so in the previous video with Michael, you will have seen how to download the data dictionary for uh, the whole project and use that to either add new forms or modify existing forms. So what we're going to look at now is instead of downloading the data dictionary for the whole project, we're instead going to download the zip file for individual forms within a project. And I use this all the time to, uh, to copy forms from project to project. So for example, if I'm creating the REDCap project for a new study, um, a lot of the studies that we work on will have forms in common. So things like you know, the same demographics form will be used, um, protocol deviations, form, um, uh, depression, severity, that kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of sort of overlap in forms between the projects. So I can go into uh, a project that I've already created, download the instrument zip file, and then upload it into the, uh, the new project that I'm working on. Uh, I've even used the feature actually to share forms with uh, other sites on a multi-site study. We sometimes collaborate with a research group at another hospital, and they have their own REDCap server set up, so it is being captured separately from ours, but we can share forms still by uh, downloading these zip files, emailing them, and then uploading them. And then this way, uh, even though the data is being captured on different servers, we still have consistent variable names, and the form, lay the form layout is the same. Um, makes it a lot easier when you're uh, trying to uh, to combine data from from different projects. So uh, to do this, I'm going to go to the online designer, and I'll download the demographics form zip file. So uh, going to here to choose action, download instrument zip, and here we go is the zip file. If you open up the zip file, you can actually see, so it'll always be these same two forms, or these same two um, files. There's the origin ID, uh, it's just a text, text document you don't really need to worry about. And then this, uh, it's always going to be called instrument, and it's a CSV file. If you click into it, uh, you'll see that what it is, is the data dictionary for this particular form. So the format looks a lot like um, the data dictionary that you will have seen in video two, uh, except that rather than having um, every form, we're just looking now at the demographics form. So if I wanted to, this is where I could take this zip file that I've just downloaded and add it to uh, maybe a new project that I'm creating. But rather than uh, show you that and creating another new project. What I'll do is um, I'll show you how to download and upload instrument zip files using the CAMH data dictionary. The CAMH data dictionary is a really useful tool. It's a, a REDCap project that has a bunch of forms that have been made by other CAMH researchers that they have offered to share. And there are a few reasons why this is especially useful. So first of all, it saves you the work of creating a form from scratch if that same form has already been built uh, by someone else at CAMH. Um, all of the forms in the project uh, in the data dictionary follow the CAMH naming convention and also the recommendations for metadata, so you don't need to worry about implementing that yourself. And then finally, from a data sharing perspective, it's great to have different uh, research groups within CAMH who are using the same assessment um, capturing that data using um, the same variable names and same same form setup, um, as opposed to having each research group have a slightly different uh, electronic version of the of the same assessment. Um, all right, so to add the data dictionary to my account, I'm going to go back to my projects. go and add a new project. I'm just going to call this the CAMH data dictionary. Um, 
And rather than creating an empty project, I'm going to choose a template. And the CAMH Data Dictionary is one of the template templates that you can choose from. And I'll go to Create Project. So now if I look in the Online Designer, it should show me a list of all of these existing forms. Yeah. So here are the different forms that have already been created. There are really a lot of them. So I, I strongly recommend that if you are um, in a position of uh, of creating an electronic version of an assessment that you just check here first to see whether it um, has been has been designed already. So what I'll do now is I'll choose one of these to add to the REDCap Basics project that we've been working on. Maybe I'll do um, I'll do the CVLT. So uh, I'm going to download the instrument zip, just like I did previously for the demographics form in our other project. I can see it's downloaded here. I'm gonna navigate back to the REDCap Basics project that we've been working on. Go back to the online designer. And this time choose upload. And find that zip file in my downloads. Okay. So just selecting that zip file and uploading it to the project. Great, so now it looks like it's been successfully added to my project. We have our form metadata up here. And all the fields in this form that have already been designed for us. So I will just add a note that um, even though these forms have all been um, added to the Chemi Chita Dictionary, it's still uh, your responsibility as a project designer to make sure that they're working properly and are appropriate for, for the project that you're creating. Uh, so even if you're getting a form from the CAMH Data Dictionary, make sure that you look through all of the fields um, and just check for errors and, and do make sure that, that the version of the form that you've downloaded matches the version of the assessment that, you're, uh, that you are going to be using in the study. Um, and just that each of these fields are accurate. Um, all right, so we've we've seen how we can access the CAMH Data Dictionary by adding it as a new project. Uh, another option that you have is to um, email Steve to actually be added to you as added. Another option that you have is to email Steve and be added as a user to the shared project. One benefit of this is that um, you don't need to worry about um, the version of the data dictionary that you have getting out of date. Uh, because once I've created this project, if there are any additional forms added to the data dictionary um, or new new versions of the forms, updates to the forms made, I won't necessarily know that unless I go in and create a new project and add the data di dictionary template to it again. All right, so we have just covered downloading and uploading an instrument zip file and using the MH data dictionary. If you would like more information on this, you can uh, check out the Red Cat page on Insight. And in the next video, we're going to be discussing exporting and importing data from Red Cat.